Hey everyone, this is Jamil Lacuna of AutoIndustria.com and I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm actually a huge fan of hatchbacks and in fact, I actually own one as a daily driver. If you ask me why, it's because I think their light and nimble handling makes them really fun to drive. And speaking of fun, we're going to drive this one, the Mini Cooper S here at Clark International Speedway. I'm actually really excited, so let's go! Hey, asa nyo susi? The Mini Cooper S isn't an all-new car. It's been around for a decade and Mini has been updating it over the years. The last one being in 2021. Not that they need to because the Cooper 3-door has that retro modern aesthetic that never goes out of style. Think FJ Cruiser or 911. It's the same thing with Cooper and they just sprinkled some new elements like the LEDs in the headlamps, the new grille, and the union jack that lights up when you brake. The latest update saw some changes with the instrument cluster inside to a digital screen. But a big change was with the gearbox. Until 2019, the Mini had a 6-speed auto, but this one has a 7-speed dual clutch. That means faster shifts. Let's see if it makes a difference on the track. Right, so the first order of the day is a slalom course. It's a series of a left and right hand quarters, followed by a 180 degree turn at the end. So it's time to test the agility of the Mini Cooper X. What is unique about the Cooper are the proportions. Mini push the wheels out as far as they can for short overhangs. It sits low and it has a wide stance. Another car built like that is a go-kart and that's why it handles very well. The Mini Cooper S easily handles quick cornering like this. It feels light as it transitions from one corner to the other. The turning radius is very tight, so no problem on the 180. And when you slam on the brakes like now, it just drops speed so quickly. There you have it. Let's try to go faster the next time around. On the slalom, we can't really enjoy the engine. But on this 1.2 kilometer main straight, you can. The Cooper S has a 2-liter turbo with 192 PS and 280 Nm of torque. And since the boost comes in early, there's power right away coming out of corners. I'm on sport mode and I'm using the paddle shifters. And really, the dual clutch shifts right away. The downshifts are really smooth and it does feel like it has auto rev match. As you know, the Mini is front wheel drive. But it doesn't behave like one because it points so easily. Turning is sharp and there's barely a hint of understeer. That's unless of course you enter too hot. But when you do, the Mini's electronic driver aids will step in to regain control. Pleasure is something that Mini really goes for. You already have the style, you have the maneuverability of a small hatch, and you have the handling and power. This is why I have a hatchback. Woo! The 2023 Mini Cooper S remains true to its character as a fun-to-drive hatchback over the Mini Cooper's 60 years of existence. And really, we had a lot of fun driving this one here at Clark International Speedway. But then again, we're itching to get more time behind the wheel of this hatchback. So stay tuned once we make a full review about the Mini Cooper S sometime soon. Once again, this is Jamil Lacuna of AutoIndustria.com.